Hello everyone. My name is Trupti and today we are going to see one of the important lesson from environmental studies part 1 and the name of the lesson is environmental balance. Let's start. Have you ever visited LEC? Let me take you there. Look at the picture and observe it carefully. Now tell me what are the living things you can see here? Yes, you are right. We can see the human beings, dog, rabbits, butterflies, birds, fish, oxen and the trees. So, these are the living things. The varieties we see in all the living things that belong to a particular area is called the biodiversity of that place or simply we can say that the varieties of plants and animals life in the world is called the biodiversity jab kisi sthan mein ya place mein living things yani sajiyon ki bhinnata varieties pai jati hai to use us sthan ki biodiversity kehte hain do you think it is easy to study biodiversity? No. To study the biodiversity of a place, scientists make a large number of observations. They make these observations in different conditions such as day and night and in different seasons. Jab scientists किसी स्थान की जैव विविधता यानी बायोडायवर्सिटी पर अध्ययन करते हैं तो वो उस प्लेस का दिन रात हर एक सीजन और सभी परिस्थितियों में ऑब्जर्वेशंस करते हैं दे आल्सो यूज स्पेशल डिवाइसेस टूल्स इक्विपमेंट्स टू मेक द ऑब्जर्वेशंस ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स दैट आर फाउंड at great heights or depth as well as of microorganism. Observation of many scientists are brought together and studied again. After all such efforts are made over a long period of time, we can be sure of biodiversity of that particular place. Kai scientists ke dwara kiye gaye ऑब्जर्वेशंस के बाद उन सभी ऑब्जर्वेशन का पुनः फिर से सूक्ष्म अध्ययन किया जाता है और इन सभी प्रयत्नों के बाद उस प्लेस की बायोडायवर्सिटी की विश्वसनीयता प्रतीत होती है देन वी कैन बी श्योर ऑफ बायोडायवर्सिटी ऑफ दैट प्लेस नाउ लेट्स सी द एनवायरनमेंट the word environment is familiar to you. Hamare school ka environment bohat acha hai. Ya bazaar ka environment ab ganda ho chuka hai. Aise shabd hum kai bar sunte hai. So, the environment means our surrounding. The surroundings and the condition in those surroundings which affect the life of organisms there are together known as their environment. Hamare aspas ka parisar, yani surrounding, aur unme rehne wale sabhi prakar ke sajiv, in sabhi ke dwara pariyavaran, yani environment banta hai. Or we can say that this is what the environment are. In environment, it includes many components, such as the sunlight, air, water, soil, plants and animals, etc. Sunlight, yani Surya Prakash, air, hawa, pani, mitti, plants, yani vanaspati, prani, ye sabhi tavaran ke, yani environment ke ghatak hai. Living and non-living things are depend on each other. There is a lot of give and take 
or interacting between the living and non-living things. Environmental science, that is EVS, studies these interactions. Living and non-living things are depend on each other. Yani Sajiv or Nirjiv ek dusre par depend hote hai, nirbhar hote hai. Aur inke beech aapas mein sadai kuch len den arthat antar kriyaye hoti hai. और इन सभी अंतर किया का अध्ययन मेंटल साइंस यानी हमारे ईवीएस में करते हैं। Now let's look at this picture. Living and non-living factors of the environment. In this picture, we are going to find out how the living things and the non-living things are depend on each other. First, let's find out the living things and non-living things. Yes, you are right. The sun, lake, rain, dry tree trunk, stone are the non-living things. And others all are the living things. Like duck, grasshopper, snake, rat, tiger, fish, chameleon, eagle, Elephant and crane. Can you guess the relationship between all these factors? Let's see. The sun. All the living things get light, heat and energy from the sun. The rain and lake. These are the sources of water. So we can say that the living things get water from the rain. The stone and the dry tree trunk. These are some kind of shelters of the living things. So this is how the living and non-living things are depend on each other. Let's see further. The grasshopper eats grass. The rat eats grasshopper. The snake eats rat. The eagle eats snake. The tiger eats eagle. And this is the relationship between the various factors of the environment. Now let's see further. The food chain. Look at this picture. What is this? Yes, it is a chain. There are several links in this chain. These links are joined each other. Is chain mein kai kadiya hai. Aur ye sabhi kadiya ek dusre se bandhi hui hai. Isi prakar food chain mein pratyek ghatak component ek dusre se juda hua hota hai. In this picture, we can see the sun, grass, a grasshopper and a bird. They all are connected. Each of the component that is a grass, grasshopper and a bird is a food for the next one. Pratte ghatak apne aage wale ghatak ka bhojan hota hai, food hota hai. जैसे कि using the sunlight, plants make their own food. A grasshopper eats those plants. A bird eats the grasshopper. It means all these components are connected with each other. That is why we can say that they form a chain. Such a chain is called Food chain. Each of these components is a link in a food chain. Let's have an another example of food chain. Silkworm, frog, owl, fox and tiger. Frog is silkworm, owl is frog, fox is owl and tiger is fox. 
in a nature there are many food chain all the living things are depend on each other to get their food so these are some example of food chain one living thing can be a part of number of food chains and that give rise to a food waves in the nature ek sajeev yani ek living thing alag alag food chain ka ghatak ho sakta hai aur jab wo sajeev bahut sare food chain ka ghatak hota hai to wahan par food wave taiyar hota hai here is the example grass is eaten by a deer grasshopper silkworm and rabbit it means one living thing is a part of number of food chain let's take one more example the grasshopper the grasshopper is eaten by rat frog and sparrow so this is called a food web and it is formed by interlinking of several food chain now let's see the most important food in food chain plants every living thing gets its food from the environment pratyek sajeev ke liye aavashyak bhojan environment yani paryavaran se milta hai many animals in the environment eats only plants kuch prani keval plant khate hain and they are called herbivorous animals other animals eat the animals that lives on the plant aur kuch prani chote praniyon ko khate hain unki shikar karte hain and they are called carnivorous animals it means all the animals are depend on each other to get their food but the plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight using water and the carbon dioxide from the air vanaspati ek matra living thing hai jo apna khana apna food khud banate hain plants make their own food plants surya prakash yani sunlight water aur carbon dioxide ka upyog karke swayam ke liye food taiyar karte hain it means the plants are main support of every food chain that is why the plant is called the producer in the food chain it means the plants are very important factor or food in the food chain vanaspati yani plant food chain ka ek mahatvapurna ghatak hai now let's see our last topic environmental balance there are many food chains in our environment food is very essential for living things therefore this food chain goes continuously microorganism living in the soil helps the process of decomposition of plant residue dead animal excreta waste material etc mitti ke andar paaye jaane wale microorganisms yani sukshma jeev sukhe patte प्राणियों का मृत शरीर तथा उनके मलमूत्र इन जैसे पदार्थों का सड़ने का काम करते हैं और इस प्रक्रिया को डीकम्पोजिशन कहते हैं एज अ रिजल्ट सब्सटेंस आर फॉर्म एंड गेट एडेड टू सॉइल प्लांट यूज दिस सब्सटेंस इन द सॉइल फॉर देयर ग्रोथ और इन माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम द्वारा वनस्पति के लिए प्लांट्स के लिए आवश्यक पोषक पदार्थ मिट्टी के अंदर तैयार होते हैं जिसका उपयोग प्लांट्स 
अपने ग्रोथ के लिए करते हैं वेन द प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स डाई द डी कम्पोजिशन ऑफ द रिमेन्स एड दी सब्सटेंस टू द सॉइल वंस अगेन और जब ये प्लांट्स तथा एनिमल्स मरते हैं तो उनका डीकम्पोजिशन होकर यानी उनके अवशेषों के सड़ने पर वो मिट्टी के अंदर मिल जाते हैं और ये चक्र हमेशा चलता रहता है दिस इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर इन एनवायरमेंट। लिविंग थिंग्स गेट अ कंटिन्यूस सप्लाई ऑफ वाटर बिकॉज ऑफ द वाटर साइकिल सजीवों को पानी की आवश्यकता होती है और वाटर साइकिल के जरिए सजीवों को पानी मिलता है दे गेट ड्रिंकिंग वाटर फ्रॉम द डिफरेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ वाटर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द वाटर साइकिल इन अवर प्रीवियस लेसन द अर्थ एंड इट्स लिविंग वर्ल्ड क्लिक ऑन द अब आई बटन सो यू विल गेट टू नो मोर अबाउट द वाटर साइकिल Let's see the other cycles in the nature. Living things that is the plants and animals use oxygen from the air for breathing and give out the carbon dioxide gas. Plants use the carbon dioxide from the air for making their food with the help of sunlight and water. Sabhi sajeev apne shwasan ke liye ऑक्सीजन का उपयोग करते हैं वी इनहेल द ऑक्सीजन एंड रिलीज और एक्सेल कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस का उपयोग प्लांट्स अपना फूड तैयार करने के लिए करते हैं ऑक्सीजन इज गिवन आउट इन दिस प्रोसेस एंड गेट्स एडेड टू द एयर अगेन दिस टू इज अ साइकिल इन नेचर और फिर से वनस्पतियां प्लांट्स ऑक्सीजन का निर्माण करती है और ये प्रोसेस ये साइकिल ऐसा ही चलता रहता है देर आर सेवरल अदर सच साइकिल्स इन द नेचर दस देर इज अ इंटरक्शन अमंग द लिविंग थिंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग इन नेचर द इंटरक्शन गो ऑन कंटिन्यूसली दिस हेल्प to maintain the food chain in the environment living thing and non living things mein aapas mein aadan pradan hota rehta hai aur isi ke dwara food chain abadit rehti hai when the various cycles in the environment go on uninterrupted continuously environmental balance get maintained aur inhi sabhi एनवायरमेंटल साइकल्स के वजह से हमारे पर्यावरण का संतुलन बैलेंस बना रहता है और वो अखंडित रूप में चलता रहता है फॉर द एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ लिविंग थिंग्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट एनवायरमेंटल बैलेंस इज मेंटेन सो दिस वाज अवर लेसन द एनवायरमेंटल बैलेंस इन दिस लेसन we have discussed how the living things and the non living things are dependent interlinked with each other we have also discussed the food chain and the web chain the importance of plants in food chain and other important environmental cycles i hope you enjoy this video please do like comment and share do subscribe to my channel to get more videos thank you